In this video, we're going to import into a real engine Revit files, AutoCAD files in, for, in DWG format. So we'll use the CAD formats that it's probably the most popular, which is DWG. So the first thing, as usual, we're gonna start the Unreal Engine. And if you don't know how to do the basic things in Unreal Engine, you can find a video course in our channel. So I'm gonna go to the templates here and just start a simple scene in third person so we can then explore and navigate the scene. I'm gonna call this UEDWG and I'm gonna open it up. You can export in DWG format from many software like also Revit, which is uh, again from Autodesk, or you can also use other type of uh, software like um, also SketchUp, other files that can be used are the, the XF, but in this case, we, we will need the DWG and we will need a 3D file. So I'm gonna get rid of some of the parts of this scene, which I don't need. So I'm just gonna select it from the outliner, just get rid of these blocks and uh, uh, objects that will get in the way. So just gonna clean it up. I'm just gonna leave the, the floor because we can use that to actually walk on our architecture. So yes, we can use this for architectural visualization. It can be useful for architects that wanna display their project to a client or also for an exam, or you can use this also for entertainment. So you can use it for serious purposes or also for entertainment. And I'm gonna scale this a little bit. It's gonna be the ground floor and the project, it's uh, pretty big. So. Uh, we will be able to walk through, so it's going to be an interactive uh, simulation. It's not going to be like a simple animation, just as we know that we can do it with the uh, Real Engine. Now, first thing, let's go to Edit here and activate the plugin that we will need to import CAD files. So I'm going to go in the plugins. Make sure that you go in the All Plugin section, so you can you cannot miss it, and search for the DataSmith. CAD importer. And this is the one that's gonna let you import directly DWG files. So no need to change format or things like that. Let's restart, save everything, and now we are back on. So here now we can start to bring in some architecture, some CAD files. You can also use BIM, building information modeling, and export in uh, this format right here. So I'm gonna go into the data smith place actor with the plus icon and choose data smith and you can either import a file or you can do a direct link which which means that the two is gonna stay connected so if you change one it's gonna be uploaded it's gonna be reloaded and i'm gonna navigate here into my folder which is this one here where i stored a little bit of dwg files so you can see here, I cannot use the XF, which is another pretty versatile format, but I'm just gonna use DWG. And I'm gonna get a 3D because I cannot use this just for 2D. You can use this just for like vector graphics. And if you're interested in AutoCAD, by the way, you will find also video course in a channel. If you wanna do like technical drawings and 2D drawings, blueprints and things like that, you can, search it in the channel, or you can write in the comments for assistance. Also, if you want, you want, you can write for suggestions. So I'm gonna import, I'm gonna choose a folder or create a new one, actually gonna create a new, and I'm gonna call this DWG so that everything will be organized and I can manage all the different folders and files correctly. And I'm gonna import everything. You can see here, sometimes in some CAD files, you could have like, not only geometry, but also lights and cameras. And we're gonna try to import materials, but at the moment, is this is not actually finalized. So we, we will need to recreate our materials in Unreal Engine. It's, it's not so bad, because as you will see, everything will be imported, but also organized. So everything can be managed real quick. So we're starting to see the meshes that are that are appearing, that have been imported, and this is the project right there. So to navigate now, to have a little bit of exploration of the scene, to 
explore it in uh, with the third person because this is the third person template you can also do it with the first person we're gonna do a simulation and here you will see that you will find all the geometries of the file all the single families if you're using Revit all the single meshes if you're using CAD you will find it there and there's also a folder for materials and the good news is that this one here you know it's not really nice it's just a standard color but by changing and editing and customizing this material right here it would change it in all the different objects that already have that material applied so it's just a matter of defining the the the, the new material which can be pbr can be really realistic and physically accurate material and then that that is going to be substituted the original one in the scene now i'm going to place this ground floor and I'm gonna scale it so that it's gonna like approximately match the size. So I'm gonna scale it, okay. And that flickering effect, it's due to the overlapping of the surfaces. So you wanna just bring it a little bit down so that it doesn't interfere. Or you can also get rid of that later and create your own collision. We're gonna use that just for, for the collisions so that our character will not fall into the emptiness it will just stay on that floor so let's simulate press play and you can see here we are in the inside of this building so i can now just walk around and explore and do a walkthrough of my architecture and display my project or whatever it is now you can see that the floor the original floor is too low so the the legs there are kind of uh you know like um like um a liquid so I'm just running too low so I'm just gonna increase this the height and also I can go through the columns and that's another issue due to the collisions so I'm just gonna show you real quick how to fix a little bit the collisions and that's uh, gonna be it this is just you know uh, an overview and an introduction to what you can do in a real engine this is the, the starting point. You can do really a lot of things in Unreal Engine 5. You, you should check the video course if you are interested. And again, write comments, write questions if you don't know where to find it or if you want some assistance. And also, please uh, also give suggestions. So I'm gonna make this floor a little bit higher. And I'm, I wanna show you here this column. So if you double click on the column, it's gonna appear on the right side in the outliner. And if you double click on the outliner, it's gonna zoom in into that column, into that pillar. Right click if you wanna edit that column or pillar and go to browse, right click and browse to asset. So it's gonna bring you directly to the asset. Double click the asset and go to the collision menu here and just add a box simplified collision. Now this is a really easy setting because this is a box essentially so we don't need to do anything you know too complex and now let's press play and let's see the changes so again here i am inside the building and you can see now i can walk on top of the floor instead and you can see the the collision there is blocking my character to and it's not passing through anymore so again this is just a quick introduction i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed this video guide if you did please subscribe to the channel to stay updated we're going to publish more in the future concerning CAD and uh, interactive application and so on. And also, if you want to, you can uh, join the channel as a supporter so you can help us to create more videos and courses. So again, thanks for watching. Check the other video courses and see you in the next video guide.